If you know anything about me, you know that I love reading books. I'm a bit of a book junkie. I've got a lot of them at home. I love going to the library and I love local bookstores. And we're gonna speak with the owner of one local bookstore. This is Rye Kimmet from Kismet Books. Rye, it's so good to see you. So nice to see you, Justin. Talk to us a little bit about the history of Kismet Books and the reason for opening and your mission. Ah, uh, so we're all of four months old now. <laughs> Still baby. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, yeah, the holidays were absolutely wild in the best way. It was amazing. The support of the community has been great, um, which is the whole reason we opened. We are um, at heart a community bookstore and we are growing every day with our community. Verona um, is our home. Uh, so when we saw that the Matt's house, which is one of the oldest buildings in Verona, if not the oldest, um, we decided, you know, pandemic be darned, we're gonna go ahead and do it. My husband and I have been talking about it since we were high schoolers. So we really wanted to keep this building available to the community. Um, so I thought, what better way to do that than with a bookstore and a community space? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations on that. And, you know, I got to say, opening any kind of business in the middle of a pandemic is uh, extremely, you have to have a lot of nerve to do that. And if you can do that and be successful, I think you've got a good model going on. So kudos to you for that. I have to confess, Rai, that uh, from time to time, I do purchase books on Amazon. I'm sorry to confess that to you. But, uh, you know, I, I love the experience of going into, especially an independently owned bookstore. Talk to us about the difference between ordering from Amazon, let's say, and, or, and buying from a, an independent bookstore. Well, it really depends on where you want to keep your money. So if you want to support your local community, shopping local is the way to do that. Um, we pay taxes here in Verona, in Wisconsin. We, when we can hire someone, we'll hire people right here from the community. It, it basically, you're supporting your own community when you support local indie businesses and bookstores specifically. Um, we do a lot of work with the local school districts. We do work with the local libraries. Um, and Amazon can try to do those things, um, but they just don't have the community reach that local shops do. Um, so places like Kismet Books or Mystery to Me or A Room of One's Own know what's happening in the community and partner with local, you know, programs that are going to benefit your community more than Amazon ever could. Sure, I mean, yeah, I mean, as much as Amazon might try, they're just not invested in the community because they're not there like you are. And I love how you mentioned uh, some of the other bookstores, such as Mystery to Me, um, you know, that shows that there's sort of a, a cordiality between bookstore owners and it's not, you know, cutthroat competition or anything. You're willing to work together on some things, which is just awesome. At the beginning of our segment here, you mentioned uh, your event space. You have an event space or a community center type of setting. Talk to us a little bit about that. So the Matt's house uh, has a second story. Um, we call it the Brick House Studio. Uh, the previous, um, shop that was in here actually named it um, but it's this beautiful space it's got high ceilings windows so much light um, and right now while we can't use it for in-person events we have local artists uh, on display upstairs including a couple local school kids from up the road i'm so proud of them um, the bravery that they showed to put their work out there for people to see is amazing good on you izzy gabby and ruby um, but I just really wanted this building to be available to the community since it's the staple that has been here since Verona, I mean, before Verona was Verona. Um, so basically people will come in and say, hey, can I do X, Y, or Z upstairs? And I'm like, absolutely. <laughs> Think of it as your space. I really just wanna make sure that people have a, a place to go that feels like it's theirs. Um, and in the meantime, it's full of beautiful art. So there you go. <laughs> but eventually we will have author events and story times and all the things that make, you know, small bookshops uh, a fun place to go. We just have to wait till COVID will let us. <laughs> right, right. That's just so exciting to me. And believe it or not, we're down to our last 45 seconds or so here, Rai. I'm wondering really quickly, can you talk about some of your community initiatives and also mention to people how they can get involved? 
So this spring, we're actually really excited to be putting in a free edible community garden that will help support our free little pantry that we have at the front of the building. So if you know someone who may be dealing with some food insecurities, they can always pop by. We have a notepad in there where you can jot down things that you might need and we'll try to get them for you. Of course, there's a free little library. We are a bookshop. Um, but if you want to get involved, you can just go to kismetbookshop.com um, or pop by the store anytime, 101 North Main Street, or give us a call. We're 608-845-2500. Excellent, excellent. Well, Rye from Kismet Books, thank you so much for joining us here today. And I want to make sure that I mention in the time we have left, you have been nominated for Best of Madison Award. Congratulations in the first four months. That's incredible. Voting begins on April 1st and goes through April 30th. Go to channel3000.com between those dates and vote for Kismet Books. And we'll be back after the break.